After more than a year of negotiations, we finally have a Hearst fix. So what can you tell us about it? Right, you know, I sure am happy to see this finally out of the way. You know, this Hearst issue and the resulting bill come as a result of a state Supreme Court ruling referred to as the Hearst decision. It started up in Whatcom County and basically made it so we couldn't drill exempt wells. It limited people's access to water and uh, really hindered their private property rights. So I'm really glad to see this addressed. And what the bill does is it goes back and really kind of rolls back the clock on this whole issue. It grandfathers almost all of, of the existing wells and basically just says that those wells have sufficient water as we move forward. So that delivers some certainty for those folks across the state of Washington, with some exception, and gives them the comfort that the wells that they currently have are legal. It also allows counties to rely on the Department of Ecology instead of themselves. The original ruling made them to rely on themselves to prove water availability, and that just wasn't realistic. And it also provides about $300 million over a 15-year period in mitigation projects across the state. Now, what I really do regret is the fact that um, Skagit County, where this problem has been such a problem for over 20 years with exempt wells, is largely exempt from this uh, piece of legislation. It led me to uh, a great deal of thought and whether I was going to support the bill. Um, but as I really got considering the whole situation, this bill doesn't further harm Skagit County. Um, but unfortunately, it just doesn't do anything to assist Skagit County in their problem with the in-stream flow rule and the uh, availability of water in the Skagit Valley tributaries. And that's really very concerning to me. So what we've done to move forward with that problem there and try to address Skagit specifically is the introduction of House Bill 2937 by Representative Taylor. I've signed on to this bill. Essentially what it does is direct the Department of Ecology back to rule writing to the original 1996 memorandum of agreement that was agreed upon by all stakeholders in this process. So this is going to be a good bill. We need to continue to push that bill forward and try to try to address this Skagit uh, specific issue. Once the Hearst solution passed, the legislature also approved the long-awaited capital construction budget and the bond bill necessary to finance the project. So how did the 10th district fare? So the 10th district actually did quite good with the capital budget. I'm really very pleased to see the capital budget move forward. It moved off the House floor with nearly unanimous support. There was just one no vote in the entire chamber, so I'm really happy to see that. Up in the 10th Legislative District specifically, it brings several projects forward. Out on Camano Island, it funds the Barnum Point Park project out there, phase one of the campground at South Whidbey Park, and that's going to bring revenue into the county for tourism. So that's another great project. There's some Skagit River Valley Delta restoration projects, preservation of the Fort Casey Lighthouse, Samish River Hatchery improvements, and also money for water and sewer projects in Freeland. And that is a big deal for the constituents and the citizens that live in the, in the Freeland area. Bring us up to date, if you would, with your legislation that would create a centralized diversion treatment center in Snohomish County for those suffering from opioid addiction. Uh, I'd sure be happy to do that. House Bill 2287 passed through the Public Safety Committee earlier this week with a unanimous vote of that committee. It's now been referred to the House Appropriations Committee, where I'm assuming that the fiscal part of this bill is going to be addressed and some money is going to be attached to this project. So we talked a lot about this in my last video update and my email updates. And what this bill does is creates a pilot program for a diversion center in Snohomish County to stabilize those people that are suffering from addiction and mental health issues so they can get into the treatment that's so badly needed. This is my number one priority for the 2018 legislative session, and we're going to continue working hard. Uh, the state of Washington needs buy-in in this opioid addiction problem statewide, and we need to create a, a statewide funding mechanism for our local uh, partners. The session is closing in on the halfway point. How can citizens get involved? So there's a few different ways you can call me. You can call me at the hotline that's uh, here at the bottom of your screen, or you can email me at dave.hayes at ledge.wa.gov. Just email me about your concerns, questions you have about specific legislation. My assistant, Kendra, and I will get right back to you on our feelings on that. And you can also call my office here in Olympia as well.